monster. Hey guys, calling 72 here and today I've got for you two Chieftain replays, neither of them are aces, however I did want to highlight a couple things in them for you guys to learn from because I'm not usually on point, but today, or these games, I will admit I was on point, but I still make mistakes and I want you guys to notice my mistakes as well and make sure you don't do them. And you can even call me out on my own mistakes too. But like I said, a couple things in here I wanted to show you guys which I think is really, really key, and I wanted to show you guys. Now, this first game, pretty good game. We do win it, and I do die, but I want you to see how I die, and what I do before I die, which can help your team win games. So, yes, definitely stay tuned till the end. And there are two replays, I think I said that already. Anyway, we are on the new map, Ravage Capital, and which is just Paris, and I've decided to come up here and use my gun depression. I've never actually come up here before, and I didn't. I thought I took auto drive off, but I didn't. But I'm barely able to get back just in time for that guy to bounce an APCR shell off of my strong turret. He's got uh, 320 millimeters of penetration with APCR. Now I see that tank on my right, who is spot who I spotted, but I thought I could be free shell into him. And now this tank is the most accurate heavy tank in the game. So I can easily hit this guy, and that one goes left. There's one miss. Don't worry, guys, we'll get another chance. If I can only see his turret, he can only see my turret. And there's two misses. And he misses as well. Can I put another one in? And there's three misses. Oh my goodness, guys. He has 1,200 hit points he should not have right now. And... Yes, we finally put one in. And what is that? That's a Grille. Can we put a shell into him? Oh, the Waffenträger is moving. Can we put another shell into him? Boom! We put another one into him. He should be dead, guys. He should be dead. But, unfortunately, we missed three of our shells. Now, the left side seems secure, so I'm going to move up here. Trying to help Mr. Catnip is great in his IS-7 there. But I can't quite find any shots. And now I get spotted here, probably by the T-32 straight in front, who he is fighting. But I've decided to turn my attention to the left. Put a shell into the bat chat. Hopefully we can finish him off before he finishes us off. I do not like fighting bat chats, guys. They always seem to finish me off. There's a T-54 he won. He bounces one, two, misses his third, and doesn't even seem to want to fire his fourth. And we track him. And he does have two repair kits, because he just got tracked by the Nameless. Then he fixed it. Then I tracked him. Then he fixed it. Put a shell in the T-32, and he goes down. Good shell there. This tank is very good at just whipping shots off. So, sometimes right bumper, fire, it works really well on weekly army tanks, especially the sides of tanks. But be careful from not to just right bumper all the time, because I have that habit, and trust me, it haunts me from time to time. There's a right bumper there, right near the STB-1. The shell velocity is like 1500, I think. So, this thing is very good at right bumpering. I thought about killing the Yag Tiger, but I changed my mind, because the STB is going to kill me. Well, fight me. So I may as well kill the tank that's going to fight me first. And then I put the shell on the Yak Tiger. And we'll see if that we can finish off this STB-1 before he finishes off anyone else on my team. Now I notice the MX-50B is firing. We finish off the STB-1. There's a bat shot on my right. And I make a little bit of a mistake here, guys. I don't think it was a mistake, actually. Well, yes, it was. But no, it wasn't. I don't think mentally I made a mistake. I thought the bat chat was going to shoot me in the rear if I went after this 50B. So I stayed here trying not to get hit by that bat chat because I have a feeling he's going to come around the corner and kill me. But he does not. And then I aim a terrible shot there. I thought he was going to continue backing up, but he didn't. And now I've decided I don't think... If the bat chat hasn't come yet, he's not going to come at all. So I'm just going to charge in and kill this guy before he reloads. we got to get there because he will reload. Put a shell into his... Uh, what did that hit? hit? Did that hit his engine deck? I don't know. I can't tell. A small screen. I thought I hit him in the turret, but then uh, the fuel tank came up. So I'm not sure where I hit. I think I hit his engine bay, guys. So we put a shell into his engine bay. And now we need to find ourselves a bat chat. He's got to be somewhere on this map, guys. And hopefully we'll find him and we can kill him. Where is he going to be? There's a Waffenträger, Yvonne 100, who doesn't have much health. There's the bat chat. Where's the RD? I'm not sure. I'm hoping he's behind me. Because I don't really want to, f you know, I get spawned by that guy. Fire on the move. 
because this shell, this gun can do that. And we finish off the. Was that an ammo rack or did somebody else ammo rack the E3? I don't know. Somebody got ammo racked. I'm not sure who. I think I might have ammo racked the Waffenträger. I'm not sure. Uh, but somebody did. So now I'm going after this bat chat. And I get spotted by the artillery behind me. And I thought, was it the bat chat? And I was like, no, it wasn't the bat chat. Where is he? There's an I 7. He f fires into the wreck of that car, a heat shell, so it does miss me. So I'm going to close this distance between him and I. Angle in like this. Hopefully he hits my tracks. Nope, he hits me in the turret. I come around this corner. Can I kill him? I don't have a shot on him. The bat chat's coming in from behind. I hear him breaking things. He's coming. I turn for him. But then I notice here comes the final land. I auto lock, put a shell through him. Here comes the bat chat. I charge the father land. He's gonna put a shell into me. He fires one into me. I put one into him. I notice the bat chat's coming. This is what I do. I block him. Do you see what I did there, guys? I pulled back so that he can't get by me. So now he's stuck there and everyone can shoot him. If I didn't do that, he'd run by and the game would go on for another two or three minutes. And he comes out anyway. But if this was like earlier on in the game, guys, that would be a key play. Because that bat chat would be dead in the water. So, you don't always have to die in vain. Sometimes you can just, you know, you can, even though you're dying, you can block people. Like, use your mouse to block Mountain Pass Bridge. So we did 6,376 damage with 1,100 base experience points. Not experience points, assisted damage. So, a decent game, but not Ace Tanker. Next, we have a game on Thiefful Ridge, another new-ish map. Well, this one's actually been out for quite a while now. This is one of the only console-exclusive maps I actually like. I like this one. Hillbron is okay. And, um, what else do I like? I'm not sure. I'm not sure at all. But I think it's really this one. Um, actually, Duke La Pass is pretty good, too. I like Duke La Pass. Other than that, they're all terrible. And Wargaming, this is uh, Xbox console war game needs to stop making their own maps because they're awful. Bring back all the old maps, please. The uh, who who else agrees that this what is it map rotation? Yes, that's what it's called. The map rotation is pretty lacking lately. I would say it is. So anyway, we're on the defensive side on Thiefel Ridge. So I'm gonna go and spot up on this hill because I have gun depression. I have a turret and I have a nice gun that likes to sing. So I want to get up in these guys' faces and, while only showing my turret. On the move fire in there, we missed the E50. I should have saved it maybe for that E5. There's a Death Star. I get scared of him. I pull back. And he bounces off of probably either my upper plate or my turret. Probably my turret because he is looking down on me. So my upper plate is not going to be at an extreme angle. So he bounces off with AP. He should have been firing Hush there. I thought my life flashed before my eyes, guys, there, right there. So now we get the Amex 1390 here. Or is that a 75? I can't see. Small screen, like I said. I got this. This new program is great. I got... And it really does well with uh, audio and all these different features I can do. But I, whenever I'm doing my voiceover, my screen is super, super tiny. And it's really obnoxious. There's a gorilla. I know from this position, the only thing he can do is shoot me in my capola. He misses, however, and the E5 only tracks me. Now, I'm going to try to get some shots on this E5, but that's an E5. I can't stand fighting these guys. Can I get sneak one in? I cannot. I tried to loop one in between his turret and his tracks tried to hit his hull there but i could not no prevail i hit his hit him in the turret instead now where is that grille i want to fight this grille guys where is he there's e5 again i thought about loading gold here but i decided not to i'm like no it's not gonna be worth it is he gonna sit there much there's a death star aim for his tracks my shell goes left it does hit his tracks but i don't think it takes off his tracks no it does not this time hopefully we can take off now his tracks get taken off and I put one into his lower plate. And I think... I must have tracked him, actually, because... No, he did fix it. Nope, he does fix. I could have retracked him again. But I kind of wanted to go for damage. And now, looking back, I probably should have. Because that's a Death Star. Now he can get another shot off. And you never want a Death Star get another shot off. I should have sacrificed some damage and just held him there for my team. Because I do have the rate of fire to hold him there. But, instead, I got kind of greedy. Now, it looks like my team's got it up there. So I'm going to charge down here and try to spot their hill. I load some Hesh because I know the next thing I'm going to see is going to probably be a Grille or something like that. And there is a Grille there. Fire on the move. Hit him for 490 damage. Good shot there. Now there's an E50. <clears throat> I still have my Hesh loaded, so I'm going to aim up at his tracks. We track him there. Load APCR. Now I want to close his distance because this thing has a very weak... It has a really angled upper plate, but a very weak lower plate. 
So if I can close the distance to get him to shoot me at an angled upper plate, that would be fantastic. Or shoot me in the turret. I'm going to keep shooting him in the tracks here, guys. Put another one in. Close his distance. Shoot me in my turret, please. Oh, he finally fixes. Put another shell into him. He aims up at us. He bounces off. And we're going to beat his reload. Unless I mess this shot up. Shot up. Nope, we put it straight into his side and finish him off. Now I'm loading back some Hesh because I have a feeling the Gorilla is going to be the next tank I see. And if it's not, I can just switch. But I have a feeling he ran off of this hill. If I was the Gorilla, I'd be long gone by now. There's a T95. Maybe I'll have his rear, so I'll keep this Hesh loaded. We will see. I want to catch this Gorilla before he gets gets too far away and out of my render distance. But he is very fast. I'm looking to my left, but he's still up here. He's on my right. I put the shell straight into his... I don't know if I hit him in the tracks or in his lower plate or where that hit him. It doesn't matter. He's dead now. So now we've got a T95. T95 off in the distance. We hopefully have a side. We do have a side. I aim up at his fuel tank. And boom, it goes into his fuel tank. So I'm going to aim there again. Hopefully set him on fire. Fire it away. And it goes into his tracks instead and we track him. So now I thought about going for fuel tank. And it looks like I continue going for the fuel tank. Fire off another one. This one gets absorbed by the tracks. It goes underneath his chassis. But it did hit him in the tracks. Fire it up again. I'm trying to hit his fuel tanks. They're very easy to hit in that tank. There's two of them. And they're huge. You can see them. They're exposed. But I can't quite get them. Oh well, he's not burning, but he's one shot away, and I do have the DPM to finish him off. And my shell does fly true, and he dies. Now there's just three tanks left. We're up to 15 penetrations. What more can we do this game, guys? Can we get some more damage out of this? Took a little bit of a risk there. Rocks seem to like to kill you nowadays, and that would have been hilarious if that had killed me. Fortunately, though, I live to tell another tale. And the tale of this game is the Chieftain. All I'm doing is showing you off the Chieftain. Nothing flashy about this gameplay. I'm just showing off the Chieftain, and I think you guys will enjoy it. I love the Chieftain, and I love watching replays for the Chieftain. I thought you guys would too. So now I'm loading a high explosive squash head round, 140 millimeters of penetration, but they only travel at 600 meters per second in this tank, so it's very slow. Because I have a feeling the next tank I'm going to see is that Waffenträger. So I fire on the move, and we hit him in the tracks and do zero damage. Alright, that's fine. Don't worry, we'll get to shoot him again. And he pens me. I fire another shot. And did that miss him or hit him with a gun? I do not know. But regardless, we missed. Maybe it went between his turret. <laughs> by turret, I mean his uh, cardboard shield. And his hull. Don't worry, we can, we, can, we can do this. And even if I do get his 80mm frontal plate armor, my high explosive squash head will still penetrate and do full damage. That's what I love about this tank. Because 180, or sorry, 140 pen is fantastic. Unlock there, boom, put a shell in, 475 damage. It's a really, really low roll, guys, for uh, Hesh. But we do finish him off, beat the reload, and beat our i7 from going in. He was a bit mad at me, but that's okay. We all love each other still, I hope, I'm not sure, though. So there's my last game in the Chieftain I wanted to show you guys. these Both these games took place before the game I showed you yesterday. I hope you guys all enjoyed. Let's go look at the post-game stats. Come on, hurry up and load. 6,000 damage, 780 damage assisted. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys all enjoyed. Here's a link to my email if you want to send me some replays. And once again, I will catch you guys later. Peace out.